Bergen County hits a very significant milestone in its fight to house veterans. The county announcing it has officially ended veteran homelessness. Fast Ones Rivet Santana is in Hackensack with how all vets in the county now have or will get a proper place to live. I believe very strongly that when a veteran comes home and kisses the ground, they shouldn't have to sleep on it. Despite serving our country and risking their lives, Julia Orlando, director of the Bergen County Housing, Health and Human Services Center, says the sad reality is that thousands of veterans across the country don't have a home when they return back from war, leaving them homeless. Especially with the Vietnam vets, they came home to a country who did not like them. The, the county is trying to say thank you for everything that you've endured. Which is why Bergen County celebrated the success of the Mayor's Challenge, an initiative to end veteran homelessness issued by President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama in 2014. Bergen County was the 28th to achieve the goal nationwide. I'm very grateful. This way I don't have to live on the street. Through the partnership between the county, the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs and the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, every veteran in Bergen County has access to safe and affordable housing. This is one of many rooms here at the shelter that holds 90 beds year around where veterans are a priority. We have veterans that are 18, 19 years old. We have veterans that are over 70 years old. They have seen uh, different conflicts and to date we have housed 125 veterans into the county of Bergen. The new program strives to have a homeless vet in the shelter as soon as possible in transitional housing within 30 days and in a permanent home within 90 days. A very, very small percentage um, uh, may do what we call disengage. There's always hope that that person will come back to us. The program also offers additional meal, medical and legal services for veterans to ensure all their needs are tended to both physically and mentally. A personal passion and goal Orlando strives for every day. So I have a brother-in-law who is a Purple Heart Marine from Vietnam. Having been injured and living with that all these years, um, I think in this small way I honor him and all the people that served with him. In Hackensack, Raven Santana, Fios 1 News.